What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds or Refills, whatever you want to call it. Look, look what we got here today. We got, well, there's Nick. Where'd Jessica go? She, she ran. She ran as soon as I turned the camera on. Yeah. Babe, you want to be on camera? <laughs> look at, she, she's she hiding. behind the truck. <laughs> we got TK, man. TK's here. He came down from North Carolina. And uh, I guess this is what, thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> this is what everybody's been waiting to see. So here it is. This is the big reveal. Now, witnesses, did we test drive this car? No. Nope. We did not test drive this car. You're telling me I just paid for it and never even drove it? Nope, didn't do anything. Okay. With it. And you you wouldn't lie, right? No. He might, but you yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, right? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, yeah. So I kind of kept it true to the way we do things around here. Uh, obviously we're in florida i mean you should be able to look around and see this is not oklahoma anymore <laughs> no, it's, 90 degrees yeah. in the winter time. it's it's hot so here it is this is the 04 marauder man and uh yeah we didn't test drive it the guy was he was a, <laughs> he was like what are, are you are sure, you sure? <laughs> he's like you're just gonna buy it and i was like yeah i'm just gonna buy it i was like that's kind of what i do man we're just gonna buy it hope for the best and we're gonna hit the road and try to make it 19 i think it's 19 hours back to oklahoma now when i told you guys the car wasn't perfect i was serious the car is not perfect uh you've got paint that is peeled off the mirror here just a hair the main thing i think to me the main issue for me is the crow's feet all over but the seller was up front about this with me he even gave me detailed photos of the damage so that i wasn't going to be surprised when i got here um on top of that this the the trim pieces on the sides here they're uh they're a little chewed up it's really the paint has come off of it and people looks like over the years have tried to fill it in with i don't know a permanent marker or something i'm, I'm not i'm not really sure but uh the paint's peeling right here too so those need completely refinished basically the car needs a paint job it's faded here but this is not like clear coat missing this is like it needs paint corrected you could probably bring a nice shine back out to this the roof has crow's feet on it as well again this this is all just superficial paint that's really that's really it the rest of the car is in good shape the body's in good shape the uh looks like there might be a little damage to the trunk back here where there used to be an emblem or something someone scratched it up yeah nothing a, a good paint job from you know where mako i guarantee you, mako could do a good paint job on this we've got kind of tires we got on here we got cooper xeon rs3 dash is that an a an r an a hell i don't know overall the car looks pretty good though so we'll go ahead and fire it up i, I started it and let it run for about i don't know 45 seconds yeah. <laughs> it's like all right let's sign the paperwork Here's the interior. This driver's seat probably needs some attention right here and right here as well. Uh, other than the driver's seat though, the rest of the car is in really good shape. Headliner is good. Back seat's good. Door panels are good. Like everything is straight on this. It just needs some paint. And that was a common thing with these Marauders, man. The paint and these down here, these look like they're aftermarket, but they're not. That's factory. Let's turn off that radio. There we go. Got the floor shifter. 99,149 miles on the odometer, guys not even a hundred thousand miles on her give it a little gas it could definitely use an exhaust and we got to turn some ac on in here too because it is it is baking in here right now pop the hood in the trunk you guys can check it out big trunk lots Man. of room I know some New York Italians that love this car. <laughs> Got the uh, 2004 workshop manuals down there. Some extra parts that came with it as well. 
check under the hood there she is you know it is what you it, it, it is what I would expect for a hundred thousand mile car and it also came with a book that has a ton of the service history all from the dealer and I've also got the Carfax report and the Carfax report shows it has been dealer maintained since new so this car has never been hacked on it's never been worked on by people that didn't know what they were doing trying to half-ass things it's only been worked on by people that knew what they were doing with it so the engine bay could use a good cleaning but aside from getting it cleaned up a little bit some cobwebs <laughs> Well, he said he ain't been driving it much no more. He said the gas mileage just, uh, the gas mileage was killing him on it. So he bought something more fuel efficient and he didn't want to get rid of it. But ultimately that's what he decided to do. So there it is, the Mercury Marauder. Big shout out to TK from Total Tech and TK's Garage for coming down here and giving us a ride. I think now all we got to do is get in it and find out. Did I show the license plate I put on this? <laughs> you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. How about that? You remember that license plate? I took that straight off of the Corvette and brought it down here. And it fits good on this car. I think it looks really, really nice. White and black fits right. Yeah. I may have to steal that permanently from the Corvette. And that may be the plate that goes on this car. Or I was thinking about getting another custom plate that says M-A-R-A-U-D-R. Close to Marauder, but there's not enough characters. All right, we're gonna get in this thing and uh, let's take it for what well, we bought it. Let's take it for a test drive now that we bought it. All right, guys, here we go. Straight onto the interstate, I-95. I don't know what the speed limits are out here. 12 miles on I-95. Wonder if the cruise control works. Sure does. Well, this thing cruises, doesn't it? It's a boat, man, like for real. So we're going almost 70 right now. There's no warning lights on, no vibrations, like nothing. Like this is a cruiser right here, no joke. I wish I knew what the speed limit was. <laughs> I think we scored on this, I do. I think we got a really good deal on this car, man, especially as good as it's running and driving right now. This thing is doing phenomenal. I guess there's only one thing left to do. Let's uh, get it to Cocoa Beach. All right, here we go. This is a bridge that says Merrick Island. Is that the ocean? It's blue. Looks like the ocean. I don't know. <laughs> no? You don't think so? Uh, just a big river or something. Some massive bridge right here, though. Man, she's getting it. It's going to cross 100,000 miles on our way back to Oklahoma. It is beautiful out here. It truly is. Car is a trooper, man. No issue at all. Just cruising. Oh, you think you're slick. You think you're slick. <laughs> no sir no sir not today this is my only pair of shoes we ain't fitting to do that uh oh yeah <laughs> hey look i gotta give a big shout out and thank you to all of you that watch these videos because things like this wouldn't be possible without you you know i i, I it's hard for me to believe that just a few years ago like i couldn't have imagined being able to afford a plane ticket or or you know go get a hotel on the beach out here in florida this is a different kind of lifestyle for me and and it's it's really surreal it's i'm still taking it all in man like like <laughs> look at this i uh i can't believe i'm here I, I i just i don't know i don't know so i gotta give a big shout out and, and, and a heartfelt thank you to all of you even the trolls and the haters because if you watch the videos then you're helping to support the channel and i truly do appreciate that it means a lot to me so we've got the marauder and we are in florida coco beach man 
and the sea should smell the air. Oh my God, I, I, I gotta live here. I do, I, I gotta move here. I have to live here. This is where it's at right here, man. I, I absolutely love it. I also absolutely love the Marauder. The car is going to turn 100,000 miles on the way home. It's got 99,000 and change, so it is absolutely going to hit 100,000 on the way home, and we're going to hopefully get that on video, unless something catastrophic happens, which I don't think it will. The car runs, drives great. I know that the body is not as good as a lot of you were probably hoping. It's exactly what I expected it to be. I'm not worried about paint. All right, paint is something that can be taken care of, and we will get it taken care of, I assure you. When we're done, that car is going to look brand spanking new again. We're going to make it into a beautiful car, and then what are we going to do with it? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll sell it. I don't want to think about that right now. Right now, I want to enjoy the car. It is definitely a cruiser. It's a car that you want to get into and take on a long road trip. It's big. It floats like a boat on the highway, man. It's like riding on the ocean on a boat, man. It's just, it's such a comfortable, smooth car. Any of you that's ever driven one of these big old Panther bodies, you know what I'm talking about. The same thing with the Caprice. The Caprice rode the same way. Just big, comfortable road warriors, man. Um, and this one's just got a little extra uh, pep in her step, if you will. So I guess the next step is we're gonna have to get out of here. We're gonna have to leave this beautiful place, which I really hate doing, but you know, it's, it's, it's just the reality of the situation is I gotta get back to Oklahoma. That doesn't even sound fun. That doesn't, that doesn't even sound like something I want to do. I don't want to go back to Oklahoma. I want to stay here, man. Um, but we're going to bring it back to Oklahoma, do some comparisons once we get back of all of the Panthers together, hopefully at AARHQ, because I still have some big news to reveal on, on the dealership, guys. Let's just say it's, 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 it's a good time for me right now. It's a very good time in my life right now. So uh, we got a lot to do. Now, Go ahead and comment below. Do you think the car is going to make it all the way back home without an issue? I will be keeping an eye on the fluids. I'll check the oil, transmission fluid, and everything on the way back. We'll stop at every other gas station or something, and every other fill-up, I should say. We'll check all the fluids, make sure everything's good. I don't foresee any reason why this car wouldn't make it back, but the, it's the nature of the beast, man. Cars break. I don't care how good they are, they do break down. So look, do me a favor, comment below. And tell me, number one, do you think the car is going to make it back? Do you think it's solid mechanically? I do, but maybe you don't. Also, tell me, do you think $6,700 for that car was a good price? Do you think I paid too much? Do you think I got a steal of a deal on it? Man, everybody's opinion is going to differ, and I want to hear what yours is down below. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Drop your comments below. Don't forget, you can see stuff that's happening on this channel on Facebook and Instagram long before you're going to see it on YouTube, typically. All right, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. If you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon in the next one.